I cannot. I cannot. You cannot. We cannot. Listen long, long enough if you can love me. Hi ladies and gentlemen and everybody in between. I am back with somebody else's hair and guess what? It is wine and wigs day. Clink, 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 clink. Mm. Girl, my lips are on fire. Okay, I decided to use a lip plumper. It's on fire, but my hair is on fire too because it's cute. <laughs> How are y'all doing today? Hopefully you're doing well. Obviously I'm doing great because girl, I'm showing up as Cowboy Carter. It's giving very much country girl. And y'all know how I feel about it. It's just like, like you see these edges? Girl, they're mine. At this point, I'm renting edges all 2024. Okay, cause look, before we go ahead and get into our new Bobbiana, I wanna ask y'all first, how are y'all doing? Hopefully you're doing well. And y'all tell me what you're drinking. I'm drinking apple juice. Y'all let me know what you're drinking down below. Oh, last time I put milk in it, it curdled. Don't do that. Also, while you're down there, I'm just gonna do a quick beg if you don't like to hear begging. Girl, just skip ahead a couple seconds. Could you subscribe and hit the post notification bell just so you can see every single time I post because I'm coming to you every single week with brand new wigs. I don't know, I feel like y'all not gonna do it if I don't ask, you know what I'm saying? Like. I'm not afraid of rejection. Let's go ahead and get into this hair. I know y'all here for a good time, not for a long time. I know I can be annoying and I'm not trying to be like that. I'm just trying to get into this hair a little bit. Okay, so this hair on my head is so pretty. Y'all see it and where's the lace? Y'all point it out on the screen, tap on your screens. Okay, and tell me where you see the lace at. And if you do see the lace, zip it friend. Don't say nothing. <laughs> I know it's there, it's a wig. I wanna say thank you to Hermosa Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. This wig on my head is a eight by five pre-cut lace, 4C edge, bob curly wig in a highlight color. This wig was 14 inches long and the wig is 180% density. When you pop the hood on this wig, you can clearly see that this wig comes with no adjustable straps, no combs, and it also comes with a piano key elastic band that you can insert or take out at your leisure girl because sometimes you need your wig to be a little bit tighter if you're having a fun night <laughs> now this wig like i said it has 4c edges and look and it's a closure like where y'all already know how i feel about 4c edges like we like this we not like this girl we hang out we call each other on the weekends girl we go to the mall we go to brunch together order mimosas and lychee martinis I had to do a little bit to make this wig look like this. I am not a firm believer that you can pull a wig out of the box and just plop it on your head. The way that this hairline is hairlining, I cannot. I cannot, you cannot. We cannot. If you wanna see how I got this look and how I customized this 4C edge, pre-plucked hairline, pre-cut lace, kinky edge wig, if you wanna see how I did it and how I got this look, please keep on watching and I'll be back at the very end with my final thoughts and a coupon code. Let's start with the base. Okay y'all, let's go ahead and get started with the base. Y'all already know because this is a wig that's pre-cut, pre-plucked. It's supposed to be pre-pre. We need to make sure our base is really, really easy. So I always start with the wig grip. I need to get one of those wig grip caps because this ain't gonna work, friend. <laughs> I need a wig grip cap. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a wig cap, pop it over top. Baby, the base is done. Quick and simple. You gotta stretch this thing out. It's done. Wow. So now we're gonna go ahead and try on the wig for the first time. Let's see what it's giving. What we try it on. Let's see what she get, what she gave, what she's talking about. Hold on. Baby, she is fitted, honey. She's gonna take a little bit of magic. Now the curls at the ends look really pretty. But this front part, she's giving a little bit dry. So there's a couple things we need to do in this hairline. Now the lace looks like it's blending straight into the skin, right friend? <laughs> but the rest of this, I need to figure out how I'm gonna make this work. Side part, no. Girl, right now it's giving straight out of the box. But we about to give salon style. Just wait a second, girl. Let's go ahead and get into it. First, we need to go ahead and tint this lace. We're gonna start with our lace tint. Now, I done found a new lace tint frame. And this lace tint, now this is closer to my skin tone. So this is the More Crazy 3-in-1 Lace Tint Melting Mousse in the color medium brown 
When I tell you this mousse matches my skin tone like no other girl, it does. Let's go ahead and pull this hairline, pull this wig off. So we can go ahead and add the mousse to the lace, blend it in, and blow dry it. So if y'all haven't seen me use lace tint mousse before, I just add it to the wig. Probably not, I've added too much, that's too much. So I add the mousse to the hairline like so. Girl, and here I go with the wrong hand every single time. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it, blend it, blend it out. Let's go ahead and dry it. I'm a little bit nervous, but <laughs> I guess we'll go ahead and see. What is, I got a piece of hair on my lip. Then we're gonna blow dry on high and cool to set in the color, high and warm. Okay, so the lace tint has been added. Let me show y'all the magic of a lace tint. Like if y'all don't believe me, look, 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 look. The lace already look good, but look, 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 look. And I think I'm gonna make it like a middle side. Like, come on. First of all, it's a little furry on the lace. Don't even worry about it. But once we get it together, oh, 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 this is gonna be cute. This is gonna be cute. We need to flatten the hairline because the hairline is, um, it's a little crowdy. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this hairline back and I'm just gonna flat iron it. I'm not trying to straighten it. Actually, let me turn this down. I'm just trying to get it out of the way because it's just all up under the lace. I don't like it. I'm just gonna go in and flatten it using the Red by Kiss hot comb. But I still wanna keep the texture. I just don't want the hairline to be like all the hairs to get up underneath the lace. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So I have my hot comb on 250 degrees. I'm gonna take the hot comb and flatten. Flatten. Y'all see? I'm just trying to get the hair out the way. And then hopefully I get to go in and recurl it. Okay, so let me see. Let's let's pop it on back forward and see what she gives. Yeah, y'all see what I'm talking about? Right? You could see like that it has a little bit more of the kinky edges, but I wonder, should I add mousse to it? Is it supposed to curl or is it supposed to? What is it supposed to be doing right now? Let's worry about applying the wig. I think it looks better not as a center part, but like a shifted center part so i'm gonna go ahead and apply the wig i was thinking about doing wig tape but it's a little bit too close to my natural hairline so i think i may go in with bold hold so i'm gonna go in with the hair diagram bold hold liquid gold gel i got this from amazon girl y'all know I'm, I'm trying out new stuff here girl i'm not trying to be a one trick pony okay i'm a multi-trick pony <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and pull this back and i'm just gonna apply this directly to my forehead. I wonder if you could use Elmish glue. <laughs> it's not toxic. Y'all ever thought about that? Okay, so. <gasps> I really thought that I could just squeeze it and nothing was gonna come out like it. Okay, so I'm gonna squeeze it onto the forehead and just go all the way across. It really do feel like I'm squeezing an Elmer's glue bottle. And I kind of lifted it. All the way across and down. I'm gonna spread it around with my, with the end of my baby hair brush. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and take my Red by Kiss fan. Girl, I really got glue all over my rope. I'm gonna take my Red by Kiss fan and allow it to dry just a little bit. Not too much, not too much. Let's go ahead and pull the wig forward and apply it. Girl, that was easy, what? <laughs> Shout out to the boho. Okay, and I'm gonna take the excess gel and I'm just gonna press it in. Or the bow hole glue. What is this called? Is it glue or? It's liquid gold, girl, don't call it nothing. I'm just gonna press it, press it down. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and let that dry. I'm gonna use this fan to let it dry and then we'll be back to style the hair. Is that hairline a bit thick to y'all? I don't, I guess we'll see. Let's go ahead and let it dry first. Okay, so I just, I feel like the hairline like is a tad, just a teeny tiny bit thick. It's dried pretty quickly. I like the bow hold gel, but I feel like I need to like, if I can, like pull out a couple of hairs. So that it doesn't look so like thick in the front. Taking these tweezers. I got these from my local beauty supply store. Um, they're Kiss tweezers and I'm just going in and oh now we lifting the lace already fucking just a couple hairs out just so it thins it out some you know just a little bit 
We're going to melt that down like so. The girls is giggling and jumping upstairs. <laughs> What's going on? Okay, hairline. I was a little bit nervous. I really was nervous, girl. But it's kind of coming together just a little bit. Now we can go ahead and get into adding the mousse. But the way this wig is set up, it seems like you don't even need, you know what I'm saying? Like you don't even need it really except for at the top. But I need to see what these curls gonna do though. You know what I'm saying? Like you see these ends? Like what is it gonna give? Are they gonna stretch out or are they gonna stay curly? Cause I like the Bobbiana look. I like for the hair to be this short, but because the ends are curled, the hair is actually like this long. I'm just a little bit nervous about adding the mousse to this because I love these ends. Like the way these ends are curling, I kind of live for them. But let's go ahead and add the mousse and see what sort of curls that we get. Well, I'm gonna section the hair in half. Babe, you can't tell me that's not my real edges, but when I tell you I love me a good kinky edge, you can't tell me nothing. Look, I'm about to go run around. Look, look, I just put my hair up. That's all. I just had to get my hair out the way. So I'm going to go ahead and add my favorite mousse. This mousse is the Dew. It's called the Dew Mousse Def Texture Foam. Now, y'all know I used to love Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Free Free Curl Mousse. That was my go-to. Thank God I found the texture foam because Shea Moisture is doing something weird over there with a formula. So we're going to go ahead and use this today. I actually mixed it with a little bit of Shea Moisture and some water as well because if you don't know anything about the the do mousse this stuff is strong with a k girl it's really really strong girl it will it will arm wrestle you to the ground so i wanted to add it a little bit more water to make sure it's not as thick because it can get a little bit crunchier i think it's best to add it while the hair is wet but girl we're gonna do it on dry hair so i'm just gonna separate the hair and i'm gonna start from the bike okay we're gonna work from the bike I'm just gonna add the mousse. Oh, y'all hear how thick that is? That is juicy. Oh, I don't like the massage it into it. Yeah. And y'all already know, here come a big, big, big lotto, big E. This is the Evolve 572 brush. I'm just gonna add this and then comb through the curls like so. Make sure the curls stay clumped it, <laughs> clumped it together. Make sure they stay clumped it. I want to see them in come to grow together. I know that's right. We're going to keep working through the hair and then I'm going to move up to the front. Let me see if the front do anything. Hold on. Why, why y'all on the line? Let's see if it curls. I don't think it's going to curl, friend. No, it's not curling. I think it's more of a kinky edge. So we're going to keep moving through the hair. I'm going to work in larger sections like I be trying to do. Adding the mousse and then we're gonna blow dry it and it would be done. Girl, simple and easy. Not the lace lifting. Oh my God. That's all right. I can fix it later or leave it alone because you won't be able to see it anyways. We're gonna diffuse it with the Dyson blow dryer on high and warm. Do not separate your curls until the very, very end, friend. I'm telling you, that's how you, not on my pajama pants. That's how you get good curls, girl. So y'all, my mic was not on, so I'm gonna voice over this part. I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all how I cut my hair now. Y'all already know, I don't know how to cut nothing, girl. Probably, I can't even cut a piece of paper, but <laughs> I know how to cut my hair to make it look like it has a little bit more layers. This bob looked like a longer bob and I need dimension 
on my face shape. So I just parted the hair in the front and did the three section cut on both sides and I did it on the side as well. But I also wanted to add some curls. As you can see, some of the blonde sections have lost their curl pattern because of the bleach. So I was like, girl, let me give her a little bit more volume, a little bit more oomph. I've never done this before. At least I don't think not that I can remember. And I wanted to curl it to make it look like natural curls. So as you can see, I'm taking my, uh, what is this, a pencil curler from Red by Kiss. I think it's from Red by Kiss or Kiss. You curl away from the face. Uh, on half the curl and then curl towards the face on the other half of the curl and it makes the curls look more natural than just those spirally curls that all go in the same direction when i tell you i came up with this on the fly i feel like miss mama's is smart so i did that on both sides i curled towards and away from the face to get those more realistic sort of curls and it looks super duper cute, super duper realistic, and it still gave the volume that I was looking for. So I did that on both sides. This Red by Kiss micro iron, I'll go ahead and leave that down below, but let's go ahead and vibe out and finish the hair. backwards so I'll take a piece I curl the hair backwards hold it and then I'll take another half of the piece and curl it forward to make the curls look more natural-esque you know what I'm saying now only thing I want to do is do like some teeny tiny little baby hairs I plucked out this little section so I could do some like really really small baby hairs I like how the hairline looks but I feel like it needs a little bit of umph. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna add some baby hairs there and then add some baby hairs on the side. Girl, I got gel and glue all up and through this. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some more bold hold and I'm gonna use that as my gel, cause why not? Oh girl, this, uh-oh. I don't know if I should use this baby hair brush cause it is, oh, scratchy. Okay, now I softened it up. You just gotta move it around a little bit. I'm gonna take it and no, I didn't cut it first. Oh, I forgot to cut. I'm gonna cut it very short, like uncomfortably short. <laughs> and I'm just gonna brush forward and then brush it into the hairline. I'm gonna add a little baby hair on this side. It's probably not good for my hair, but it'll come out with water. Brush down some of my natural baby hairs, like right there. And then this part, like that. Yes, hairline. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side, and once the baby hairs are done, I'm gonna pop back up. Makeup done, everything. So if you wanna see the makeup, I'll put it probably on TikTok or Instagram if you wanna see how I did the face. Let's go ahead and do the other side, and then I'll show you the finished look. But right now, I'm, oh, and look at the hairline, whoa. Are we okay? Because that literally looks like it's growing out of my scalp. What are we talking about? Okay y'all, now that the hair is done, let's go ahead and test drive this baby. Now this test drive is gonna be short, sweet, simple because there's only one style I wanted to do with this hair type because I didn't wanna mess up my curls. So I'm just gonna do the half up, half down. I felt like it was pretty cute. I felt like I should have pulled it tighter, but the hairline is hairlining. It looks super duper cute. Y'all tell me what you think. I tried to do another style baby, it did not work out. But once I pulled the hair back out, fluffed her out, I feel like wearing it down in this cute little bob is the cutest way. But y'all tell me what you think. Okay, y'all, this is the finished look. Oh my God! First of all, the face. 
The face came out cute. Now, hold on, let me turn down some of these lights because I got a lot, a lot of lights going. I think it's giving us a little bit Beyonce Yana, you know, a little bit of Country Carter. What is it? Country Carter? Which is a cowboy Carter? <laughs> yeah. They're like very fun and flirty. It's a little flat in the back. I should have curled all of it, but pff, I wasn't doing that. I'm not gonna curl all of it, but just little curls on the top added the dimension that I was looking for. I love the bob. I live for the bob. What do you think? Do you like the bob? I like the bob. Do you like the bob? I love the bob. Y'all tell me what you think down below before I tell you what I think. Now, I'm gonna tell you what I think. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into my final thoughts on this hair. I'm gonna go into the pros and cons, but baby, I'm not gonna go through a list because I get too jumbled. Let's start positive, okay? Love the hair color. I love how soft this hair is, like down here. This hair is crazy, crazy soft. I was skeptical about the hairline until I started to work with it and I love how natural it looks. It is like a kinkier sort of hairline. And I also love how the lace goes down pretty doggone far. It goes down pretty far to where I don't really have to worry about my natural hair being out or dealing with the closure moment. Um, and I love how like, you see how it's like a kinkier texture up there? Like, I just love that. It just looks like my natural hair, but like, I just did it a little bit. Now let's go ahead and get into the cons because I think that's everything that's positive. The cons is that I think it needs a little bit more pluckation on the hairline and that curls like in the front, I wasn't sure like if it was trying to be kinky or curly um, until I tried it on. But when I first got it, it was intimidating to try on and then figure out what to do with the edges when I just realized it was a kinkier edge, but it's just long kinky edges. But they were like more like frizzy edges. But once I put it on, I noticed it was like kinky edges. So it looks like more like a natural hairline. And I love a good natural hairline. But this, this natural hairline was just a little bit longer. So it was a little bit more to work with. It, there was definitely a learning curve with this. And I felt like it was a little bit thick and they could have bleached the knots a little bit more. Like the knots, I just needed, I needed y'all just to, just to bleach them just a, a, little, a little bit more. Cause there was a couple of knots in there that you could see. Um, and when you have kinky edges with not, it's too much darkness up here. Like it gives more of a fade. I do love that it was ease of application. Once I put it on, the lace was actually clear. I mean, it was like clear-ish. A little bit of lace scent went a long way. And the fact that it was pre-cut, all that type of stuff made it super duper easy to apply. But I added a little bit more work towards the end because the hair itself, the hair at the back was super duper soft. The curls gorgeous, but the hair at the top, it felt like um, these blonde pieces really lost their curl, which takes away from the vibe. So I had to curl it once again. But in general, I think the wig is super duper cute. It's definitely different. It's not something that I would usually pick, but I picked it because I was like, girl, be a little different. I know you look cute in this. And I did. One thing I wish I did was just manipulate the top and leave the curls at the back because the curls were already perfect the way they were. It was like pre-curled at the end. I felt like it looked good when it came out of the pack and I could have just left it alone. But just be warned when you see the hairline, treat it like a kinky edge, girl. Keep the texture because when I tell you, it adds to the versatility of the wig. Like, y'all see that texture there? It makes it look so realistic. I think that's everything. Y'all tell me what you think down below. I also will leave a link to this unit down below. I also will leave a coupon code down below as well because you already know, I feel like it's stank not to give a coupon code. That's, that's just my opinion. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.